Newcomer Women's Services Toronto provides a safe, welcoming environment for newcomer women and their families. For many of the staff and participants, new as they affectionately like to be called, is like a second home and there's always room for more women to join in. So here to tell us more is Executive Director Maya Roy. Good to have you with us, Maya. Yeah, it's wonderful to be here. Lovely to have you. Tell us about Newcomer Services Toronto. Mm -hmm. So Newcomer Women's Services, we've been around for just over 30 years mm -hmm. and we have an English as a Second Language school, a daycare, we connect over 300 women a year to jobs and we do a lot of anti-violence work in the community. And how many uh, women have passed through your doors since you opened and in any given year? Have you mm -hmm. noticed that the, that the need or the services are growing? Or Absolutely. Toronto's gotten very diverse. We work with over 3,000 women a year and it's really great to see women from all over the world coming to us. What about the history? It was Latin American women that started it many years ago. Or, or do you still have a, a large Latin American uh, women uh, uh, participation? Absolutely. Uh, we're really proud of our roots. We were started by women who came to Canada as refugees from Chile mm -hmm. and over the years the women expanded it to include everybody, women from Asia, continental Africa and Europe, just very much like the story of Toronto. And what about the children? You also involve, even though it's newcomer women's services, yes. you also fold in whole families, kids and all? Exactly. We like to say for newcomer women, their families and for smart men. So we do work with <laughs> men. for as, smart men. Yeah. Um, we have kids on site uh, through our daycare. Uh, during our Saturday program, we have a number of drop-in programs. And we have some really interesting personalities who come to our summer camp. So it's always great to watch them grow up. You also like to encourage and inspire a spirit of entrepreneurialism. Yes. Because there, may not, there might not always be an opportunity to uh, be employed by a company or an organization. So stirring up that spirit, that fire in the belly yes. to, to uh, learn how to make a job for yourself. Tell exactly. We're really proud of our Sew It program. So a lot of women come to Canada with sewing, handicraft skills. So we have a program that they meet every day for three months, mm -hmm. learn how to start their own online business and actually upcycle clothing from local do donations in the community. And what about people who may find that they get settled in because you're a newcomer. Mm -hmm. So the very name suggests once you're not a newcomer anymore, yes. Get out of here. Right? <laughs> no, of course that's not yeah. it. So do you find that people have a natural progression of thank you very much but it's time for me to cycle out or do they stay and mentor and, and help the next newcomer and pay it forward? Do you, is your membership growing or does it kind of rotate and there's always new people? Absolutely. Uh, a woman might come to our English language classes and then we might connect her to a job but then she might come back for example to the Sew It program and volunteer and be a mentor. Uh, one of our women, she recently started her own line of hot sauces uh, with a traditional recipe from back home and she's been Is passing she bottling on, it? Exactly, <laughs> literally bottling her, her yeah. secret sauce oh, and uh, she's now passing on that excitement and knowledge to other women. Do you find that the women go there to learn new new skills and so on, but they end up finding friendships? Do they end up finding best friends and totally different cultures? And who would have thought that this would be uh, what a result that they got from, from attending? Yeah, absolutely. I find that women have a lot of skills to bring and to share. Um, I really like to eat. One of the things I found <laughs> when I joined the organization is the women love to throw good potluck ah. and a lot of them share recipes and stay friends even after they've, they've finished or are taking a break from one of our programs. What about your own background, your own uh, inspiration? What inspiration do you draw from being the executive director of this good service? I grew up following role models like Nelson Mandela and so it was really important to me when I joined the organization that we talked a lot about commitment to human rights and, and social justice. And for the future, what's your vision for the future for newcomers? Well, we're growing. Sometimes be careful what you wish for. Yes, yes. Um, between our, our evening programs, I think our, our goal is to be a really warm, safe place for women to continue to come, whatever that program looks like. Do you think that there are some myths about uh, what newcomers uh, bring to our community at large? Good, good myths, bad myths, or just 
Yeah, I think sometimes, um, for example, if a woman might still be learning English and English is her third, fourth, fifth language, um, some of the myths might be we may not be able to see the skills, we may, may not be able to look past the accent and see the skills that she has to offer. Now, do you find that you've got a particular age group or is it everybody? Have you got 18 year olds coming through and 65 year olds as well? Mm -hmm. We have as young as 18 months old in our daycare who we love and as wise as in their early 80s and passing on. And they're newcomers at yeah, early 80s. Absolutely. Now that takes a lot of courage, doesn't it? It does. It takes, it well, takes guts. Them. Yeah. That's wonderful. And fee? Is there a fee to belong or to consume the services? All of our programs and services are free. We and fundraise in the community. And how successful has that been of late? You've been doing different kinds of events to always... Absolutely. We've been very lucky. Um, all three levels of government partner with us and private yeah. foundations as well like Metcalf Foundation. Excellent. Is there anything upcoming over the next 10 10 months or so, 12 months? Yes, uh, we have a number of pop-up shops uh, coming up done by our Sew It program. So if folks want to check us out on our social media, Terrific. on our website, and all the information is there. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I will send them to the website for sure. If you'd like to know more about new, then visit newcomerwomen.org. Stay with us and don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs>